Hi everyone, this is Jen Sheffer, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use two different tools that are free, that are really simple to use, and they will eliminate all of the distractions that surround a YouTube video, things like comments and ads and other videos. And oftentimes these are things that can distract our learners from the video that we really want them to focus on. So the first one I'm going to show you is called View Pure. And once you have found the video that you want your students to watch, you would simply copy the URL and then head over into viewpure.com. And then you will simply paste that link and then click purify and the tool will work and there it is. So now your students can watch Bill Nye explain the water cycle without any distractions whatsoever. But wait, there's more. What you can do now is you can take that view pure link, copy that, go into your Google Classroom, click on the link and paste it in, add it, and then hit post. And then when your students watch that video from their iPads, they're actually going to be watching it through the ViewPure site. So I'm going to click on it. If I'm a student, I'm going to see this on my iPad. So that's pretty powerful and also very simple. So that's the first tool that I want to show you. One other thing I could point out to you is that if you end up really liking this tool, Purify, and you feel as though you're going to use it a lot, you can take this button right here and drag it into your bookmarks bar. Um, so you can just bring it up here and add it, and there it is. So the next time you find a video, you would just simply click on Purify, and it's going to push it right into it in one click. So again, making it even faster to use that tool. The next one is very similar to what I just showed you. This one, I'm going to just go ahead and close View Pure. Uh, this one's called Quiet Tube. And with Quiet Tube, what you'll do is just, I would recommend doing the same thing, just dragging this up to your bookmarks bar. Then when you go to your video, you would just click on Quiet Tube, and it's going to push the video into Quiet Tube. You'll notice, though, with Quiet Tube that you do get this one uh, simple ad right here. So if you're comparing the two, you might end up preferring View Pure over Quiet Tube, but they're both quite similar. And again, you can copy this link, head over into Google Classroom. You can say whatever the assignment or the announcement is. Click on your link button, paste it in, hit add, hit post, and then your students will watch that video again through QuietTube versus through YouTube, and all those distractions are eliminated. Neither of these tools work with videos that are um, blocked because of safety mode, so I did want to point that out. Um, in that case, if you're needing a video, um, I would just use the SS trick that I showed you in the last tutorial. Again, email me if you have any questions, and I hope this was helpful and that you'll try either one of these tools. Thank you so much for watching.